felt like things turned through a little bit maybe at the start of the fourth quarter and then obviously at the end of the fourth quarter. Did you see some, any similarities between those two? Well, I thought it was really the third, to be honest. I mean, we scored, I believe we had a stretch where we scored four to five possessions and they scored five out of five. You know, first half we defended well. Um, you know, they weren't running. I think they had two fast break points at halftime. I think they had three second chance points. You're gonna, you're gonna be in every game almost if you can do that. If you take care of those two areas, which we've been getting better at. So they had five and then the second half they had whatever they finished with, you know, 15 second chance points. So that's 12 more and 10 fast break points. So, you know, that's 20 points and you're gonna lose. You know, like you gotta take care of those areas. And, uh, and then the other part is, and we've gotta, you know, we've gotta figure stuff out here, is the ball, we gotta keep playing the same offense. Uh, the ball's gotta move, the ball's gotta hit the paint. We can't be out there trying to play one on five. And that, that hurt us tonight too. You know, the first quarter and three quarter, first and third quarter, those groups that played, we played well. The second and the fourth, we really struggled, both, both, both halves. Kind of going off that, Coach, uh, Miles had a few ISO possessions where he scored the baskets. He was getting whatever he wanted, but then the Raptors were also getting whatever they wanted. He yeah. had a timeout right after that. Can you just talk about that sequence, maybe what you said in that, in that huddle? Well, well, we weren't, again, we weren't getting our defense set. So, you know, the effort to get back, get set, you know, contain the ball, you know, they had them for, you know, we had them, which is true for, 10 fast break points, but they had another 10 or 12 in the second half where it'd be like secondary type offense where we're not set. And in the first half we were. The same thing happened the other night. In the first half, you know, we watched clips this morning. We didn't get set. What did they score? They scored like 62 the other night. In the second half, we got set. They scored 50. I mean, just being good at those things gives you a chance to be good defensively every night. And, you know, it's something, again, that we've been better at lately, but – you know, like those poidal tippins at the end of the game, those are sinks, and we got a guy right there. I mean, the guy's right there. The play's got to be made. All you got to do is hit him. He ain't touching that ball. And they weren't hard ones. They weren't like these rotations. This guy's standing right there. It's got to be made. Going off that a little bit, Coach, um, even with the third quarter, Brandon Miller hits that big stretch. You guys go up one a little bit. What happened in the fourth quarter late in that fourth that kind of, you know, led to the loss also? Well, that's where, to me, like offensively, again, you got to have a way to play and you commit to it, you know, and that's where we stray. I mean, you know, tonight it was later, you know, the other night it was in the middle of the third where, you know, regardless of what's going on, for our team, that ball's got – we can't be isoing, okay, and the ball's got to hit the paint. Um, you know, there aren't many players in this league that are good iso players, that by the numbers it makes no sense. Terry was one of them. Terry is. Terry's efficient with it, okay? Miles tonight, he had a matchup. It's good. But, you know, it's not his game, our game. And he, he's, not the, he's not the problem, by the way. But I'm just saying is when we're standing out there dribbling in place or jet, the ball stops, the defense sets. And in this league this year, the thing that has changed more than for a long, long time, teams are helping like we used to help 20 years ago. People are giving up the threes. You know, two years ago, Everybody's worried about the three. Right now, everybody's trying to protect the paint. There's only a couple teams that aren't. And you've got to make the adjustment, which means you've got to move the ball. If you're going to try the ball, people are standing there waiting, and those are our bad possessions. Steve, uh, it's obviously a lot of trade speculation around Miles here in the next 24 hours. I mean, can you imagine uh, going forward without him on the roster? <laughs> yeah, I mean, as you know, and I really mean this, when you're a coach, it's like, you just, you know, you just get through it. You wait. You see what happens, and then this is our team. And then you, you know, you you have to come up with a plan to do the best that you can. So that's all I do. You know, it's a, this is a this is a hard day for everybody, um, and I understand that. I mean, you know, look, it's hard for the guys. So we'll just see what happens. And kind of his, but his effort in the last two games was eighty-six points. I'm going to be honest with you. His effort. Every night he plays is remarkable. Listen, this guy who's always played minutes, he's playing 38, 39 minutes every night. Okay, he rests only, he plays the whole first, the whole third. He gets like three and a half minutes in the fourth and the second. That's it. And yet, rarely, he never asked to come out. 
okay? And he plays every dribble. And there just aren't many guys who could do what he's doing. And kind of gone off that, knowing that likely this <coughs> is the last night with this, or I guess, roster construction. Is there anything different that you say to a team after a game like that? No, I mean, look, again, and this is not this is not uncaring. It's just reality, right? Look, change is a big part of doing this, you know, and you get close with players. Um, you have friendships that, you know, grow over years and things like that. But players, you know, are free agents. Players get traded. Coaches get fired. And it's just the way it is. And... Um, you know, I know this, or I, I believe this. this. I tell the players this all the time. If you want to have good days, concentrate on the things that are most important. So worrying about that is not nearly as important as me trying to figure out a better way to help them move the ball in the fourth quarter. That's it. And it's the same thing. You can waste all your time on this, this, and this. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So... You know, tomorrow, for instance, it's a hard day, so we won't practice. You know, we'll just everybody's going to come in. They got to do something just because I understand where they're coming from. Normally, it'd be a practice day, but that way they can come in, they can shoot, they can lift whatever. But you know, kind of let them by themselves, and then by three o'clock, we'll know. You know, we're going to fly at five. You know, fly later, and then we'll know who our team is, and then we can get going. The bigger thing to me is is that like tonight, I think that they can see. So above all the other things, if we would have played defense like we did in the first half, we probably would have won, okay? Or if we'll continue to move the ball for 48 minutes like we did in the first and third quarters, we probably would have won. The biggest thing that we have to have for growth is, though, is regardless of what the score is, for this group right here, Okay, and let's be honest. I mean, it's why I was brought here, and to this point, I have failed pretty miserably. Is we don't care enough about defense all the time. We're better than we were in some ways, but you can, you know, like we're a what do they say? We're a sometimes team. Sometimes we run back, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we care about guarding the ball, sometimes we don't. When the ball starts going in the basket, a lot of times we don't care about defense anymore. You'll never win. You might win games. You might have a decent year here and there. You'll never win. You'll never win a playoff series. You probably wouldn't win a playoff game. Those are the teams that get to the end of the year, and if they're talented enough to get to a playoff series, guess what? They get their ass kicked. You've got to defend in the NBA. There's never been a team, never, that's been good and had a playoff run that wasn't good defensively. And it's just that's fact. I mean, look at, look at every single year. Now, there have been teams – that struggled offensively, going all the way back. And we're really good on defense at one. But we've got to get that. And that's got to be a big, big part of what we do. You know, last year, the one thing I felt good about was, you know, we had a stretch uh, of 20 games after the All-Star break where we were second in defense. We, they bought in. We took it to the next level. And for whatever reason, we have not gotten anywhere close to that this year. But we've got these, whatever we have here, these four games left, then we can refresh a little bit and start again. Because, you know, I don't care who we play. Like, if you play the right way, you can give yourself a chance to win. I mean, these guys are in a similar situation. They just traded two terrific players, right? And, you know, if you watch their game in Oklahoma City, you know, who's one of the best teams, double overtime, and they could have won the game. I mean... You know, we can do that, too. I don't, I'm not saying we're not going to go 20 and 8 or something, but we can play a lot better. You know, and that's what I've got to be focused on, a way to, to help them uh, and get them to understand. This, trying to outscore people, it may be fun and fans might like to watch it. It'll never work. It doesn't, you know, <laughs> just give me a team in the last 10 years. It never works. Those are the teams that get to the playoffs and you say, oh, we got to make some adjustments. It's not going to work. If you're not playing playoff basketball all year, guess what? And it's four out of seven, it's too late. So we might as well learn that now, you know, before they get older.